Good evening. There is breaking news tonight. Investigators have identified a person of interest in the Christmas morning bombing in Nashville. Today, agents combed through a severely damaged downtown looking for clues after a parked RV rigged with explosives blew up. At least three people were hurt. CBS News Chief Justice and Homeland Security Correspondent Jeff Begays is at FBI headquarters tonight with new developments. Jeff, good evening. Adriana, law enforcement sources tell CBS News that the leading theory right now is that the person responsible for that bomb blast may have been killed in the explosion. We're also being told that DNA tests are being conducted on human remains found at the scene. Today, federal agents raided the home of a person of interest in connection with the explosion. CBS News has learned that law enforcement has identified the man as Anthony Quinn Warner. This Google Maps image obtained by CBS News shows an RV behind the wood fence matching the description of the vehicle that exploded in Nashville. An FBI bulletin from the Weapons of Mass Destruction Directorate said Warner had a similar make and model RV. And the Google Street View shows an RV parked in the yard of the Warner's home. Today, part of the downtown area remains a crime scene. It's like a uh a giant jigsaw puzzle created by a bomb that throws pieces of evidence across multiple city blocks. There is a picture emerging. Investigators have been able to trace the movements of the RV and the person driving it back almost five hours before the blast. On Friday at 1.20 a.m., it was at the intersection of Korean Veterans Boulevard and 2nd Avenue South. At 5.28 a.m., a 911 caller reported that shots were fired in the area. Later, there was another 911 call from someone telling police the recording from the RV was saying a bomb was going to explode. When police arrived on scene, the RV was spotted parked outside the AT&T building. Officers noticed blinds and clothes covering the window. Shortly thereafter, the warning of an imminent bomb started blaring through the streets. All units are confirmed with PD. This is an explosive device. After the blast, sources say shell casings from a gun were found at the scene, perhaps set off by the large explosion. More leads for investigators to follow, along with about 500 tips. And right now, it looks like the motive in this incident may be tied to that AT&T building. Sources are telling CBS News that investigators are looking for leads, trying to see if there were any threats made against that building. Remember, the explosive-laden RV was parked right near that AT&T building. Adriana. Jeff Pigay is outside FBI headquarters in Washington. Thank you.